Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is Monday, July 11th, 2016. And if you've been watching my videos, you probably know that I have a Android app on the Android store. Uh, you can just go to the Android store and search for Howard's Notebook. I could give you the... Well, I may put the link below. Well, I also have an Apple app in the Apple Store. I can't see it because I do not have any Apple products at all, I don't think. Uh, so, I can't see it. But, uh, a couple people sent me a uh, image of it. I think this one's from LaDonna, but another friend, uh, LaDonna's my daughter, <coughs> in Washington, D.C. So I think this is from LaDonna. This is what the, this is my only way to see <laughs> the Apple, my Apple app. And this is what it looks like. And let's see, there is Let's see, where's the, where's the, that's number one, let's see, that's number, nope, that's the review, no, that's not the review, so, um, this is another review of the Apple app. I want to thank uh, the two people here who did reviews of it for me and gave it five stars. I appreciate that. Let me bring the video back here. And uh, so now my daughter just sent me a review that she wrote uh, for the and for the Apple app. And uh, at first, when I started reading, I thought, oh, this is sort of inappropriate. You know, if a family member giving you five stars and, and uh, saying good things. But then right away, uh, she announces that we are related. <clears throat> Since uh, some of you maybe who are watching our Android people and do not have a access also to I think it's strange it seems like Apple should make it where you could go and look at the apps that they have even if you're not an Apple user you could go and look at the apps that way you might say oh wow that's an app I really want and you can do that on the you know an Apple product and then you might but anyway so uh, my daughter did this review and since some of you are Android people. I'm going to read the review to you. It's, uh, it says, Jim has been using new technology to share his thoughts and his everyday life with everybody since the 1980s, the days of the dial-up BBSs. He believes in the power and importance of open and free communication. Now he is bringing his blog to our phones. She says, I'm not exactly sure how I feel about it since he's my dad. I mean, it's cool that now I can just open up an app on my phone and stay up on his life. But it also feels a little ick ever present. But hey, on the other hand, is anyone in your family doing something like this to help you stay in touch, yet still allow you to be lazy and glued to your phone screen? I don't think so. Then LaDonna says, In spite of him being my dad, I thought carefully about this review. Five stars for getting the world's first blog on your phone. Doc a star for sometimes being boring. What? Uh, add a star because it seems smooth and bug free. It's a small file and doesn't seem to eat up my battery or anything weird like that. 
dock a star because that one time he grounded me for no good reason, add a star for no microtransactions, a truly free app, dock a star for sometimes being boring, yes that's a total of two stars for that, add a star because his posts are sometimes insightful, sometimes mundane, sometimes maddening when I disagree with his opinion, laugh out loud, but always honest and unvarnished. That's uh, page one of the review. Here is page two of the review. Let's see, five stars, good job, Dad. What does he blog about? He tells you what he thinks about random current events, kind of like your grandpa or uncle at the holiday table, just kind of rambling on about something. But then there's sometimes a really interesting story or antidote from the past, and you might think, hmm, that was actually something interesting. He sometimes recommends good movies to watch on Netflix that I've never heard of. They never disappoint. He reviews whatever odd stuff someone sent to him in the mail. He complains about the cat. He is a, occasionally hilarious, but it's a dry humor and you have to pay attention for it. Sometimes it might even be unintentional. I'm not 100% sure about that. And his current health issues and some needed tension and drama in case you we're getting bored. He's a father of four and a grandfather of one, but you're welcome to adopt him into your heart as your very own online grandpa, as well as several others have done. Enjoy. So that's it. And uh, so if you're an Android user, you can go to the Android store and search for Howard's Notebook. If you're an Apple user, you go to the Apple Store, and I think you search for Howard's Notebook. So, um, I don't really have much control on editing the Apple um, app. The Android app, I haven't made any changes to it because it's been just fine, but I do have the ability to go in and edit the uh, Android app. So, I thank you very much for watching this video.